there was a video mm -hmm. where people said you are faking uh, miracles you are using the same people for to perform miracles mm -hmm. using the same person and there were also allegations especially on cultism uh, in in uh, from your end how, how would you respond to that in terms of faking miracles the man the yeah. man in both videos yes mm -hmm. well, the, the first thing i want to clarify uh, which is very important as well yeah. it's good that you've brought it up is the fact that uh, you know people sometimes will just go out on social media and just pick out something and just fabricate and create stories mm -hmm. you know people can fabricate and create stories yeah. out of nowhere yeah first we want to understand where where originally are you from because i think the question is um we can't see a lot of you in the history books. Huh? So where did you just come from? <laughs> that is a good question. Yes. At the fullness of time, I revealed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I manifested. <laughs> you know. Yes. Talking about your net worth, I was mm. looking at your net worth. You are estimated to be worth one million dollars. I might it's more. But then there are people mm. saying <laughs> you don't even have a single cent. Mm. How? How? What's What's your net worth? Are we yeah. looking at the prints here? Uh, you know, uh, the net worth is, uh, we don't calculate our net worth uh, based on the possessions we have or the material yes. things we have. These all are blessings from God mm -hmm. and uh, uh, we, can, uh, we can truly say that God has blessed us. Hello and a warm welcome to the show. My name is Lynn Gugi. Now, my guests today are considered to be the hottest couple in town, running an amazing ministry together. But that ministry has also been coupled with a bit of criticism here and there. But today they have promised to give us such an authentic show and answer all our questions. I'm about to let them introduce themselves. But before I do that, allow me to say thank you to Elegance Fashion Kenya for coming coming through for your girl with this by then this was supposed to be my valentine outfit but valentine imesha isha but if you like them guys the contact details are right here and our amazing partners here at westwood hotel for giving us this amazing space so that we are able to bring you conversations that have the ability to impact lives guys and now allow me to let my guests today introduce themselves good morning good morning good how morning. Habari. Habari, habari. Uko aje? Uko aje. Poa. Uko aje? Poa. Uko poa. Yeah, so habari is hello. Okay. How are you? Uh, I'm good, I'm good. You're good? You know. Please introduce yourself. Uh, nice to be in your show here. Thank you. And uh, uh, I'm Prophet Carmel. Yeah. Uh, I'm originally uh, from India. Uh, now residing in Canada, yeah. but right now I am in Africa because I find an African queen. You, you find <laughs> African queen? <laughs> you find a fine girl? Oh, I find a fine girl, a yes. fine girl. Yeah. And uh -huh. uh, yeah, I'm a minister of the gospel okay. and uh, my vision and uh, mission is to reach people yeah. with the love of Jesus Christ. Amen. It's really nice to have you. Yes, mom, good yeah. morning. Good morning. It's yes. a blessing to be here. Yeah. And thank you for the invite and the opportunity. My name, as uh, you know, is Rev. Lucy Natasha. And now, of course, Kamel. Yeah. I always tell him he stole my heart. Now I've stolen his son name. <laughs> He stole, he stole your heart, yeah. he's stolen the sun. Yeah, uh -huh. so and mm. by the grace of God, we yes. are based here uh, in Nairobi. We are pastoring at the Empowerment Christian Church Nairobi, yeah. right here in Nairobi CBD, where we are reaching our generation with the love of Christ. Good. Mm -hmm. Can we just say how gorgeous? Of course, you look really good, mm -hmm. but how gorgeous you look right now. I was yeah. telling her Thank when you. we were doing uh, before the show, mm -hmm. one day, please let your makeup slap my face <laughs> and make me look. You, you really look guy, good, guys. Thank I love you. the color coordination. Thank and you. even before we dwell on to the topic, the biggest question people are asking because we saw the rush here but are you guys married legally yes mm. we are married because we are traditionally married yes. and you know we are global citizens yeah so we are still planning uh, 
you know, according to the to Kenya, we we did the traditional wedding, mm -hmm. but we are still planning to have a white wedding yeah. in India, India and a celebration in Canada. In Canada. Yeah, yeah. So, yes. so you guys, so you guys, you are now global citizens. Mm -hmm. India, Kenya, Canada. Oh yes, that's amazing. Yes, thank you again for you know being gracious enough to uh, come to the show. Mm -hmm. And I wanna, I wanna first we want to understand where where originally are you from? Because I think the question is, um, we can't see a lot of you in the history books. So where did you just come from? <laughs> that is a good question. Yes. At the fullness of time, I revealed. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I manifested. <laughs> you know. Yes. Uh, yes, uh, I am originally from India, mm -hmm. uh, in the southern part of India, yeah. which is uh, called Kerala in, uh, in the tourist map. It is called the God's Own Country. Yeah. Uh, I am from there. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I went to Canada uh, for my studies and uh, further my business and mm. uh, things like that. Yeah. And, uh, uh, I am residing now in Canada. You, you are residing in Canada. Yeah. So how was life like for you growing up? Um, I was, uh, I am a third generation preacher. My father uh, is a pastor. My grandfather was also a pastor. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I was grown up uh, in a, in a exposed to ministry. Yes. And uh, I was grown up like that. And uh, yeah. Did you not experience any hard moments? Because it's not always a straight line, even for a generation that comes from a worshiping background. Did you have rough moments? Were there chances where you were like, I don't want to be a minister. I want to be a lawyer, a doctor or uh, I, uh, because uh, I got the calling from a very young age, I started to preach at the age of eight. Oh. And uh, there were ma many times in which I was thinking I need to be a doctor, yes. you know, uh, but the calling was strong on me. Yeah. And uh, because of the empowering of the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I chose that way. I went to the seminary. Yeah. And uh, yes. And Reverend Natasha, mm -hmm. you, we see you are, you, you know, you're smiling, you're blushing here. <laughs> and uh, there's something I like that you've said over and over again. Mm -hmm. You would rather wait for the right person mm -hmm. rather than marry the wrong person mm -hmm. how did you guys meet i mean how did this mm -hmm. happen yeah you know what you're saying is uh, is very true because mm -hmm. when you marry the right person you are complete but when you marry the wrong person you are finished and your life actually determines a lot the success of your life or the yeah. fulfillment of your destiny determines on who you marry and i love the pointer that you said it's better to wait long than to marry wrong yes you know and for me i had i always had that desire lord when i get married because one thing we share in common with my hubby he's from a third generational uh, background of ministers same yes. to me my mother is a pastor my grandmother is also a woman of god so mm -hmm. i'm also a third generational pastor yeah. so i always said lord you know when my my time of settlement comes I don't want to marry a prayer point I want to marry a prayer partner mm -hmm. you know a prayer point is somebody that makes you every day you are crying and you're yes, crying yeah. but a prayer partner is somebody you pray together yeah so for me I always had that desire mm -hmm. but uh, you know so our, our meeting together was heavenly and divinely orchestrated hey. of course maybe he, he might uh, he will give the uh, the story on how we met yes. but uh, you know it all started in a very interesting way he yeah. sent me a DM yeah. he's, oh, yeah. uh, he's leading in the DM Instagram. You slid in the DM. <laughs> <laughs> Prophet Cap, you slid in the DM. Yes, of course. Okay. You know, uh -huh. yeah. you know, uh, uh, I was uh, invited to preach in a place. Yes. And uh, it's a film director's house and the lady of the house yeah. showed me the video mm -hmm. where uh, my love is preaching uh, about royal wedding. Yeah. I, I saw the video. I, uh, you know, there was such a spark in me. I said, at any cost, I need to slid into the DM yeah. now. <laughs> so there was a spark. So what was it? A spark, Oma. You just saw this gorgeous woman, nice oh, makeup. Yes. You okay? You know, she is gorgeous, of course. She yes. is gorgeous. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, I see a strong woman in her with yes. compassionate heart. Mm -hmm. And I really liked it. Uh, I said, yeah. you know, this is a woman of God. She's an example. Yeah. Uh, you know, I need to connect with her. And so I you tried, went to I the tried, DM. 
Oh yeah. What did you and do? It was in not the DM? easy. I tried. I tried. Ah, I tried. We are not in a rush. <laughs> Tell us what did you do in the DM? Were you like, hey, hey, cutie, uh, hey, lovely, hey, gorgeous? You know, <laughs> you, know you gotta tell us you what know. did you do in the DM? Uh, you know, I started with like, uh, you know, I'm praying for uh, you. <laughs> In yeah. a very, yeah. uh, in a very balanced <laughs> way. Uh, uh, my dear prophet, we, we are not in a rush. Okay. You, you gotta give us this tip. So you slid in the DM. Okay. Yeah. And what did you do? Uh, it was uh, something like I am talking to myself in a, uh, in a Instagram, which is followed by uh, almost a million followers. Yeah. So you know, it is something like I am talking to myself in a <laughs> big Instagram page. Yeah. yeah. But I didn't lose the hope. Yeah. I, I said, you know. If there is God. <laughs> if it's meant to be. Yeah. How do you bump into his DM mm -hmm. in a page where you are highly followed on social media? How do you just bump into his message? Okay, it was like after some time. But I, one thing I love about my hubby is that, you know, his persistence. Yeah. And, you know, he kept on sending me. It wasn't actually more of love messages. It was more of like, I cover you, I pray for you. As we had different outreaches, traveling in different parts of the world. We are in the U.S., you. UK, yeah. in the Middle East, Africa. He kept on saying, I love the work you're doing. More grace. Then I wondered, who is this handsome uh, Indian uh, pastor that is, uh, because I just checked, you know, because his messages were so consistent, yes. you know, consistent and uh, that is, uh, so initially I never thought that it would be a relationship. Yes. I just thought it was, you know, a co-minister, co-libera, yeah. you know, and he was always like, woman of God, I cover you, I cover you, I pray for you as you're traveling in the conferences, crusades. So it was more like he was always encouraging me, speaking to me. But later on, mm -hmm. uh, we were both in the U.S. at the same time yeah. in Dallas, Texas. Were you, were you replying to the DMs? Yeah, at least after some time. Oh, oh yeah. what <laughs> made you reply? What, what made you reply? <laughs> I was like, you know, the way this guy is so consistent. consistent? Yeah, especially in, uh, you know, he's, he's not asking me for, you know, anything, but he's always there praying for me, encouraging me, yeah. you know, speaking to me, saying I love, when he sees us doing charity, he's there, he's yes. like, how can I support, how can I stand in the gap? When it comes to, you know, traveling, he's saying, I'm praying for you, I'm standing in the gap, but we had not even exchanged contact. Mm -hmm. So I felt, you know, who is this guy that is so consistent yeah. in praying for me, yes. in standing in the gap? And, uh, you know, we also had outreaches in India, yeah. the Natasha Hands of Compassion. Mm. So I felt, you know, let me just uh, talk to this handsome hey, guy <laughs> <laughs> and find out, yes. you know, mm. also which part of India he's from. Yeah. Because we were based in northern India in Punjab. We yeah. had uh, an outreach with the Natasha Hands of Compassion. Yeah. Yeah. So that is when he told me he was from South India and, uh, you know, everything started there. But mm. uh, later on in person, we actually met uh, now in the U.S. when we were both on assignment. And yes. The rest is history. History. Is how history. how was it like meeting her now in physical form for the very first time? Oh, I still remember that. Like you know, my heart uh, started to beat fast <laughs> <laughs> when I say that now. Even you know, I feel yeah. it in me. Mm -hmm. You know, seeing such a gorgeous, uh, wonderful uh, woman of God yeah. in, in front of you. Yeah. And uh, you know, I was so amazed, and it was like. Uh, Adam waking out of sleep. Yes. I said, this is mine. <laughs> yes, yes. W were you scared of approaching her? Uh, not actually, because, you know, you know, Bible, all, uh, Bible says uh, the perfect love cast yes. out fear. <laughs> so there was like perfect love, that yeah. kind of connection and bond yes. uh, with us. Yeah, because we had already <coughs> started a friendship. By yeah. the time we were meeting, yeah. by then we had already, you know, exchanged contacts. And yeah. there was a friendship that uh, actually we first became friends before we became lovers. Before you, and that's important. Mm. That's important in relationships mm. that you become friends before you become lovers. But allow me, because I did send some Q&A to my audience mm -hmm. and and you know, you guys, you met online. Mm -hmm. And right now, there's a lot of mistrust when you meet your spouse online, mm -hmm. especially given all the things that we've been uh, witnessing. Mm -hmm. I had someone look at his social media, mm -hmm. the account, and mm -hmm. they are very recent. Were you not scared of this person doesn't have a lot of history in his social media uh, platforms? You know, people are quite different. And, yeah. uh, you know, like uh, for me, I, 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 I was like out there in the <coughs> public domain doing a lot of things yeah but people live uh, people are different there are people that are a bit private yes. 
yes. and you know reserved and there are people that are also out there depending yeah. on how you choose to live your life mm -hmm. but uh, you know I believe that people can genuinely meet online and uh, you know fall in love and even get married as we have Good. Oh, yes. you know that is possible but mm -hmm. also there are a lot of uh, you know with every positivity <coughs> there's negativity there's yes. also a lot of scammers fake people so people should also be careful mm. you know because you must do your due diligence and yeah. as for him uh, when our friendship started we even started communicating video calling each other talking to each other yeah. and uh, you know and also we had uh, several since we are both ministers we mm. had many <coughs> mutual yeah. friends yes. in the ministry you yeah. know in different parts of the world yeah yes. yeah for someone who has been through this journey before mm. heartbreaks and what made you what convinced you mm. he's the one yeah, you know, after, you know, we, 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 we started meeting and uh, just being together, you know, the compatibility, that is the first thing that I mm. felt this was the man because mm. we were so compatible. Uh, the other thing is that we have also common goals, common values. Yeah. You know, I'm so passionate about the ministry and for him also, he shares the same passion yes. for ministry, for the, for the young generation. And uh, also there was the chemistry. Also chemistry is important. Because Even I though mean, we are pastors. Eh, uh, not sure. <laughs> see, yes, <laughs> Yeah. yeah, it's yeah. important. Yeah, the chemistry. Yes. And I, I had always desired that, you know, God will give me a man that has high family values. And I saw that in him. I saw a man after God's own heart in him. And also being a woman in ministry, I, al I always felt, you know, that, and that was my prayer, that God will give me a man that will stand with me <coughs> as a destiny partner, yes. not a man that is coming to compete or to hinder the calling of God that is yeah. upon my life. Yeah. And one thing that stands out about my hubby, he's my greatest support system. Yeah, so unapologetically so yes yes you know to find a man that really supports you to uh, serve God's <coughs> purpose for your life mm -hmm. it's really he has been my cheerleader even in those days that was one thing that was very consistent anything he was there just encouraging me cheering me on yes. you know yeah so I felt you know based on all these things I I saw that compatibility and of course you know even after now we connected and uh, he shared with me what was in his yes. heart and I prayed, I yeah. felt peace. You know, God is not the out of confusion. If yes. something is from God, it doesn't there's a peace. come with confusion. Yeah, there's it a comes peace. With peace. peace. Mm. There yes. is peace. She has said you have high family values, strong family values. You are her biggest cheerleader. What is it about her that you really love? You know, I, I really love in her the fact that she's a strong woman with mm -hmm. a compassionate heart. Compassionate heart is the crown uh, to her. I truly believe yes. that. And uh, I also love the fact that uh, instead of responding to negativities and, you know, carrying that kind of uh, things in her, yeah. uh, she is too busy uh, in shattering the ceilings of limitations, opening doors for people, opening destiny for people and, you know, helping people and reaching out to people with the yeah. love of God. And, yes. you know, I could really see uh, Jesus in her, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. and uh, I could really see uh, women of God and uh, a wonderful wife mm. uh, in her. In and, her. Uh, I, 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 I could really admire that. So you and knew she's from gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Of she, for that one, we, that one we, you knew from the word go, this is her. Yes, I really felt that in me, mm -hmm. and uh, there is a peace in me. Yeah. And uh, I know it for sure. Yes. Uh, yeah. She is the one. She's the one. Talk to me about your first date. Oh, the first <laughs> date. <laughs> uh, uh, it was nice, you know. Uh, uh, I, actually, we met in Dallas yes. when we were at the Kingdom Assignment. Yeah. Uh, we went for a, a date dinner and uh, we talked about a uh, uh, lot of things uh, mm -hmm. about the ministry, about each other, mm. about compatibility and you know, mm -hmm. we could really feel that peace and the, the, the conversation was flawless like you know, yes. you don't feel like okay somebody is trying yeah. to skew out something from somebody, it was yeah. like it was so natural yeah. and I really felt like you know, that kind of flawless and uh, natural uh, yeah. chemistry yeah. was like uh, you know, with love also comes challenges. What would you say your biggest challenge in this relationship has been? Uh, you know, as you're saying, it's true. There's nothing that comes without challenges. Mm. But uh, 
I always say the will of God will never take you where the grace will not protect you. Uh -huh. But there has been challenges in terms of, uh, you know, first and foremost, our love is a love beyond borders. Uh, you know, because God has given me a husband out of my community. He has also married out of the Indian community. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, so there are, there are those kind of uh, small challenges in terms of uh, culture. Culture shock. You know, but at least I give God the glory that we are both, uh, you know, exposed you know, we are both exposed to different cultures mm -hmm. globally, mm -hmm. but uh, also we have different kinds of uh, cultures in terms of, like when we were getting married, you know, in the Indian culture, it is the woman that pays the dowry. Yes. In the Kenyan culture, it, it is, is the, the man, man that pays the dowry. Yeah. But, you know, we always find a common ground. Who paid? Eh? Who paid? That one we shall leave it <laughs> <laughs> Uh, a prophet. Because we love the Indians prophet and the Kenyans. No, yeah. just talk to yeah. us. Who we paid? Who paid? Who we paid? Are uh, uh, and we always try what? to come into the middle ground now. <laughs> <laughs> to here. Yeah. Yeah. Who pays? Yeah. You are not telling us. Or no, you guys, you came yeah. together. We came to yes. a middle ground. Yes. So we always find, and also, you know, coming from different cultures, also the food. Yes. You know, we are, we are, we are both used to, like, you know, having different kinds of dishes. Although yeah. I'm learning now to cook some Indian food. Spicy. Mm. Yeah, spicy. Yes. I'm learning, I'm learning how to cook uh, paratha. Yeah. Uh, uh -huh. I'm learning how to cook uh, chicken. Uh -huh. Chicken paioli. Chicken paioli. Yes. <laughs> yeah. How is that? The curry. Like? Yeah. The, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> How is that like for you? Yeah, it's it's an adjustment, but it's a good adjustment because he's also learning how to eat some Kenyan food. I'm learning. Oh, I heard him say his favorite food is um your favorite food is Ugali. In Kenya. In Kenya. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kuku Kenyeji. <laughs> Ugali and with some Pilipili. And with some Pilipili. Yeah. Yes. yes. How, how, how are the families relating to each other? Have you met his entire family? Yeah, we have. How, how did they receive you? Yeah, we have connected and I can say that both families, uh, you know, there's both families, we are both Christian families. That's one of the things I thank God and, mm -hmm. uh, you know, both of our families, uh, Christ is the center of it all. So his parents are pastors and I'm also coming from the same kind of a background. So they also understand, uh, you know, and pray for us and stand with us, encourage us. Yeah. So for the families, that has been really uh, very positive. Mm -hmm. uh, in terms of challenges, I think uh, one of the greatest challenges is now when you're come out you've been a single person you know for yes. all these years is now the negativity sometimes that comes although the positivity always overrides the negativity yeah but you find sometimes people will crucify you in the court of public opinion Good. from a point of misinformation just mm -hmm. because this and this was written and it's not even fact yeah. you know but uh, we always we always say with my hubby if they don't know us personally we don't take it personally yes you know so, say that so okay. yeah if they don't know us personally we, we don't, don't take, take it, it because you know people will just take just one information and uh, they will crucify you in the court of public opinion and they will just be speaking you know when you are at the top you become the topic and the target and especially now for us being a young christian couple that is also on the public light because our generation is on social media it is on facebook instagram twitter yes. and also we said one of the things that we were very intentional about is that everything that we will do because there are millions of people that are following yes. us both we are not going to do it uh, uh, you know, we are not going to do it like, uh, uh, you know, behind the scenes. We are going to involve our spiritual sons and daughters globally. We want yes. them to see our journey and not just our our strengths. We want them to see our perfections and our imperfections, perfections you know. Too. Yeah, so yeah. that has also been uh, a challenge in terms of... Uh, you know, just uh, and we always say we are real people. Yeah, like, and we try know, to be we real. real. We don't fake perfection. <laughs> you yes, know? yeah. So we try to be real and uh, and just to also love. Even those that uh, come with the negativity, we always yeah. try to spread out the love because. Yes. But does it does it get to you? And what's the greatest lie that has been told about any of you or both of you? Yeah, we can't really narrow down to. Yeah. One specific yeah. because, you know, and on social media, there are a lot of things that are said, you know. And uh, because our assignment is greater mm. and uh, we don't focus on, uh, yeah. you know, lie or hate or critiques or anything like that because mm -hmm. we are so much focused on the assignment uh, that God has given us. And yes. we carry love. Yeah. Even if uh, somebody hates you, uh, criticize you, you know, it may be their job or, uh, you know, uh, it, it, it may be what they think. Yeah. Uh, and uh, we love them back. And, yes. Uh, that is what uh, <coughs> Jesus uh, taught us. And yeah. Uh, that is what we follow. That's what we and follow. And I yeah. also believe one thing uh, in, my, uh, in uh, 
we believe that in our life is like, you know, if I give you a, a rose flower, until and unless you receive it, it is still mine. Mm -hmm. So, you know, mm -hmm. it is uh, better you don't go and respond and receive certain things into your uh, mentality and your yeah. psyche yeah. to create problems in your life. Because Just you know focus who on you the are. positivity, yes. focus on the hope, yeah. focus on love and yes. let's love each other and build a community yeah. uh, with love and uh, you know building up each other. Mm -hmm. That is our yeah, passion. That's yeah. true. And you know even from <coughs> the times of Jesus, criticism has not started with the prophet Kamel and Rev Natasha. From the times of Jesus, he was criticized by the system of his day. He was yes. criticized for dining with tax collectors. Yes. He was, you know, Moses was criticized for marrying an Ethiopian woman, mm. you know. Paul was criticized for preaching the message of grace. So it has not started now. Yeah. So we don't let it get into our hearts, yes. you know, or into our spirits. We focus yes. more, you know, on the assignment. On the, you know, it would be very unfair t uh, for me and my audience to wind up because I want to do away with the negativity and the yes. criticism because there are also so many good things that you guys are doing in the community. Mm -hmm. But there was a video mm -hmm. where people said you are faking uh, mirror miracles you are using the same people for to perform miracles mm -hmm. using the same person and there were also allegations especially on cultism uh, in in uh, from your end how, how would you respond to that let's yeah. start with the fake ministry yeah actually to those that are in our ministry our ministry has been at the forefront of preaching Christ of reaching our generations yes. uh, you know with the gospel and so far by the grace of God we have been able to reach over 50 nations around the world mm -hmm. with the gospel winning over 5 million souls yeah. globally yeah. and uh, our ministry is in the public domain so first and foremost our ministry is in the public domain all our services are both live always on Facebook and on YouTube yeah. so everything that we do in the church it's and in life. ministry it is live so that tells you that first and foremost number one we have nothing to hide yeah. and our ministry is an open book mm -hmm. and uh, in terms of faking miracles the man the yeah, man in both videos yes <laughs> well, the, the first thing I want to clarify uh, which is very important as well yeah it's good that you've brought it up is the fact that uh, you know people sometimes will just go out on social media and just pick out something and just fabricate and create stories mm -hmm. you know people can fabricate and create stories yeah. out of nowhere yeah first First and foremost, we are a ministry that, that is preaching the message of uh, salvation. We, are, we also believe in miracles because the Bible is, yes. a, is, clear a, on is, a, yeah, is a revelation of, uh, of different dimensions. Yeah. And we believe in miracles. We believe in healing. We believe in deliverance. We believe in the power of the Holy Spirit. And for somebody to say that uh, we are faking miracles, for what benefit and for what gain? Mm -hmm. And uh, even in the so video that you are saying yeah. is uh, somebody that uh, we, I prayed for of our different case and you know in church for instance we do different outer calls yes. you can call a salvation outer call and somebody will come for a salvation outer call and Papa Kamel my hubby will come and say if you need healing also come and the same person is sick because yes. a church is like a hospital we pray for different kinds of people and sometimes we can pray for somebody who needs a deliverance mm. and uh, the same people come because we have uh, thousands and hundreds of people that attend our services every Monday Friday and Sunday yeah. so just because I prayed for you this week and next week I call for people that need employment and you come out. Where is the faking? You know, because the same person or we pray for people like now we just had the Valentine's edition and we oh, pray for people yes. that need marriage. Yes. Yes. You know, the same person can be needing marriage, the same person can be needing healing because we pray for people mm. and that is our assignment. We are ministers. Yes. So these are false allegations and we are a ministry that honors God, fears God and a ministry that is equipping and touching our generation with mm. the true gospel spell and preaching the undiluted word of the Lord. Good, yes. Good. I, I love and uh, there is no, uh, there is no intention to fake anything because, yeah. uh, you know, Jesus is the healer. Yeah. And, we are not uh, the healer. We are not the healer. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, there is nothing uh, that we need to prove. And uh, we pray and Jesus heals people. Yes. Jesus saves people. And, uh, and uh, there is no intention yeah. uh, like that uh, behind us. Yes. I love what my hubby has said mm. and it's so powerful. Mm -hmm. You know, we are not the healer. It is true God has used us. We have seen the yes. power of God across the nations of the world. We have seen people being healed, delivered, being set free. Yes. But we are not the healer. We are not the deliverer. Jesus is the deliverer. Yeah. We are not the miracle worker. Jesus is the miracle worker. Yeah. So for us, we are just vessels. Even when it comes to preaching of the gospel, we are just messengers with a message. 
We are just people that God has chosen, you know, as his mouthpiece because God needs to, he needs somebody that he can use. Yes. Mm. Yes. yes. Does it get to you sometimes because you are a human being? and human beings have feelings when you say people say these things does it get to you and how do you react to that oh uh, we don't really take things into personal hey. you know you know actually you know we follow the example of jesus <laughs> yes jesus you know <coughs> when he was criticized if you look from scriptures he always went quiet so for ah. me it is uh, and even for me and my hubby it is rare for us to go either on the pulpit to respond to you know people that don't even know yeah. you people that are just creating videos for views yes. you know people that are just coming you know to just write all kinds of things looking for views or I don't know what any other agenda yeah. they have. Yeah. So for us, we just maintain the, the, the silence. Silence can never be misquoted. Mm. And we focus on the assignment because a lie cannot, uh, you know, the truth always stands. A yes. lie will never yes. stand. Mm. Mm. You, truth wins. The truth wins. Every other time, yes. truth wins. You are global ministers right mm. now. How will this take course? Do you intend on preaching in India, Kenya, Canada? How is this going to take course? And I remember... This is a question many people will ask. Mm -hmm. How now do you identify yourselves? Kenyans, Canadians, or Indians? <laughs> yeah, uh, My love. A, it's a good question, but we identify ourselves as uh, global citizens. Uh, uh, Prophet Kamel, who na enda sana hivi? Ah ah. Yes. Yeah, where are we settling? But, uh, where, where is home going to be home? You know, the Empowerment Christian Church is everywhere. It's yes. a global network yeah. now, and uh, it is all around the world mm. in uh, different uh, continents of yeah. the world. And uh, you know, as um, as of now, we know uh, we have connection in uh, Kenya, in India, and in Canada. Yeah. So we are planning to be in between. Yeah. In between, uh, uh, you know, Canada and yes. Kenya and, and, and in India. Reverend, we where do you want to settle? Where is your dream home going to be built? You know, okay, Nairobi has been the city of divine assignment. Yes. And uh, I really appreciate my my king because he has also fallen in love with Kenya. Yeah. Yes, you know? I love And Kenya. also he's a global citizen. Yes. So that is why he's originally from India, resides in Canada, but impacting the nation. So we have decided as of yeah. now, we are going to be in between. So yeah. you will be seeing us because we have ministries in all these centers. Yes. So we are going to be in between. Sometimes we are in Kenya, we are in Canada, we in India yes so we are not planning to have like a specific uh, yeah. place so you are you 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 don't have any problems being anywhere in those three yeah. countries yes. yeah I had the privilege of watching your YouTube uh, your Valentine special mm -hmm. that is also on your YouTube uh, channel guys you can check it out and someone asked a very important question mm -hmm. and this question for me <coughs> I don't always ask it on the show unless someone is confident mm -hmm. but there was the question of kids mm -hmm. How are we looking into building a family with kids and how many? Hmm. Mm. That is a good question, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yes, uh, of course, uh, we are looking forward to build a family. Mm -hmm. And uh, that is our message to this generation. <coughs> yeah. I always say I like the number of grace and I believe in grace. Yes. As uh, five is the number of grace, yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Uh, I always say so that. So five. <laughs> Let's see. And, you know, uh, uh, children are a gift from yeah. God. Yeah. Prophet, uh, Reverend Natasha is somewhere laughing like yeah. this. Yeah. Why? Why? <laughs> I need a grace for five. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, you know Asia, yes. yeah, yeah. As my hubby is saying, yeah, definitely we we are believing God that uh, you know at the appointed time He makes everything beautiful yes. in His time, yeah. And uh, we believe that uh, you know children are a heritage from the Lord. Mm -hmm. So my hubby says five. If God brings the five. Well yes. and good. Yes. You know. Yes. If as we pray, pray, yes. Then the will be done Let as it is in heaven. As it is in heaven. <laughs> <laughs> as it is in heaven. Yes. Talk to me about the Valentine surprise. You know, uh, I always uh, believe that love sh should be celebrated. Yeah. And uh, it is important that you celebrate uh, uh, love because, uh, you know, and I also, that surprise is because, you know, I believe in uh, respecting yeah. and uh, I believe in uh, uh, respecting women. Yes. Uh, that is important. You know, women multiply things. Uh, that's what I believe. Uh, if you give them uh, a house, they make it a home. Yes. And uh, I truly believe if you give them joy, they multiply it and give it back to you. Mm -hmm. If you give them love, they multiply it and give it back to you. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I also uh, felt they appreciate her 
uh, from the bottom of my heart. Yeah. You know, that's the reason why, you know. Yes. And uh, she's a queen and she must... Uh, be treated uh, like a queen. Yeah, but tell us about Valentine. You know, you know, Prophet Kamel is here trying to yeah. be very humble about it uh -huh. from a woman's perspective. Yes. Talk to us about the Valentine yeah. surprise. One of the things I thank God about my hubby is that he's a sweet soul and yes. he's uh, very romantic. And he always tells me life is a gift that is worth celebrating. And he always says love should be celebrated at whatever cost. Yeah. So, you know, so having a man that is also that sweet. Yes. You know, I always tell him he brings out the girl in me. Yeah. So this Valentine's, because it was also the weekend when we were also celebrating our anniversary, yeah. was quite a hectic uh, yes. because we, we had to do the lounge on Sunday. Monday we had the, 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 the love edition sure. in church because we always have services on Mondays as yeah. well. Yeah. So he said to me this Sunday, I just want us to have dinner. Just dress up. I'm taking you somewhere. So I had no idea. <laughs> but, uh, you know, so and that day he said, I want to specifically drive you, <laughs> you know. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, so mm. he had already planned, uh, you know, something so sweet and special. Yeah. So, you know, it was very sweet and romantic. We had somebody that was playing the saxophone. Yeah. Oh, the, yeah. You know, it, it was really nice feeling looking at her shining eyes. Yeah, like even the way she's eyes. talking about it right yeah, now. Yeah. Yeah. Was she wants feeling. another one. Yeah, I want. <laughs> <I want that. laughs> Oh, of but course, many more, many more, more to come. If you, I'm many trying to, to help come, you I here. Tell. What oh, she's sure. saying, <laughs> sure. what she's I saying want, is, I want. She deserves yes. it all, yes. and there is no doubt and because this, you know mm -hmm. the love that she gives me, uh, the care, yeah. uh, the respect, uh, you know. Yes. That she gives me, she deserves more than that. Yeah, yeah. You know. We mentioned you are coming from singlehood to in a relationship. Mm -hmm. What are some of the things that have changed about you? especially now that it's not just about you, mm -hmm. it's the both of you. What have you had to change? A lot has changed. Actually, everything has changed from my life, uh, the ministry, you know, our vision now is intertwined. You know, before you are thinking as a person, but now you're not thinking mm -hmm. as a person anymore. Mm -hmm. You are not mm -hmm. thinking as a family. You are yeah. thinking as, a, you know, it is two becoming one. Yes. So now it's it's very different. Actually, mm -hmm. everything, if I say one particular thing has changed, it, uh, it will lot. not be true. It's, a lot it, it's has everything. changed. Yeah, everything changes. Yes. Marriage changes everything <coughs> about you because yeah. in a good way, yeah. because mm -hmm. now it's not just about you as a person it is about what you're building together as a family yes, yes. and you prophet Kamil what has changed for you you know uh, it's uh, it's a it's a complete change from uh, a life of singlehood uh, to a life of relationship mm. and it is all about you need to kind of you need to be uh, you need to be concerned about the other person yeah. you need to have that responsibility mm. you know you need to have that open way of communication yes. develop and uh, uh, develop that trust and i always say you know uh, two becomes one and evolving themselves to become love yes. you know so yeah. that is what uh, you know we are trying to evolve uh, ourselves it's a process and yeah. you know change yeah. is a process change, and change is, is something that we cannot change yes <laughs> changes are something we can it's a it's a process it's a process, it's a process. i love that i want to get into natasha hand of compassion because mm -hmm. many people have asked natasha gives too much she's also into these political um views do you do you think people have confused you to, for a politician and do you have any do they have any reason to think uh, we are looking at maybe the next governor mp mca mm -hmm. or president uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yes uh. Uh. You know, that's why actually, uh, you know, uh, I, I think these opportunities are very important so yes. that, uh, you know, those that don't understand, our sons and daughters globally, SSC family and our partners understand our vision clearly because it is well articulated. But then there are millions of other people that follow us that don't know the details. Mm. So the Natasha Hands of Compassion is actually a social outreach arm of the ministry. And uh, I know this is an election year, so many people would be thinking that we were gearing up for all the years we've been yes. giving because of trying to look for an elective poster mm. you know in the elections either as a, you know in any of those uh, areas you yes. have mentioned yeah. but uh, for me and uh, for my husband let me speak for both of us yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah 
we bear no political ambition. Actually, what we do is that we work uh, hand in hand, you know, with the government. We pray for go government leaders. We pray for those that are elected in government because our spirit, because we are yeah. spiritual leaders. Yes. We view ourselves mm -hmm. as spiritual leaders, and yeah. I think that is even a higher calling than yes. any other calling. But uh, the reason why we give as the Natasha hands of compassion to the less privileged, even during COVID-19, you know, we were able to reach one million families, both yes. here in Kenya and, uh, you know, in informal settlements in the slums. I came from the slums and I know what it means to have nothing, you know. So I, I am also very passionate about giving because I know what it means to be there in the slums. We were also able to reach out to families in India, in Pakistan, Pakistan. Lahore, Pakistan, in South Africa, in Manila, Philippines, and yeah. in different parts of the world. Yeah. But we have no political ambition. We are just spreading the love of Christ. The yes. kingdom of God yeah. is a kingdom of givers. Yes. The father gave his son, the son gave his life, mm. the spirit gave his gifts. And even me, as Natasha and Kamel, yes. we are also learning how to give. How to yes. give. Oh. And we don't give because we have. We give because we care. Yes. Because yes. you care. Yeah. So no, it's not like because we have much. It is because we care and also we have a group of partners that believe in the vision yes. of uh, touching the less privileged. So yes. it's, a, it's, a, it's a collaborative teamwork. There are people that are holding our hands behind the scenes that are pushing us globally to be able to do it. Yes. Let me ask, to people who say you preach prosperity, preaching, mm. how do you answer that? Uh, I think uh, the Bible is, uh, as we said, we preach the, 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 the Bible in its totality, you know. So for us, we preach salvation, and that is why uh, we preach different things in the Bible. Number one, we preach salvation. Yeah. ECC, Empowerment Christian Church, turned one. We launched the Fearless Generation Movement that is geared yes. towards winning 10, 10 million, million souls. souls. So number one, we don't just preach prosperity. So to anybody that has the notion that we just preach the message of prosperity, that is a wrong notion we mm. also preach the message of christ the message of salvation but prosperity is part of the bible yes. we are not born again to suffer yes. again is there anything wrong with preaching the prosperity no, there is we nothing wrong so. mm. what we are just saying is that <laughs> yeah. we preach grace we preach the love of christ yes. we also preach prosperity because we believe we are not born again to suffer again and redemption is not reduction the yes. blessing of god maketh rich and addeth no sorrow so, so we also believe that uh, you know uh, we believe in the blessing of god that maketh rich and we yeah. We, our, our, our desire is to see people, you know, lifted up in the corporate world, in the business world, and mm. in all sectors. Mm. So we don't just, uh, you know, brand ourselves as prosperity preachers. Yes. We preach the message of Christ, which of is Christ. the message of love, hope, forgiveness, salvation. It is the message also, it, it also comes with the, the Abrahamic blessing. Yes. 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 Yeah. And God didn't call us to suffer. <laughs> yeah. Jesus didn't came here and died for us. He literally bared physical hunger, physical thirst and physical nakedness on the cross. That means he addressed it physically on the cross and he said it is finished. Mm. And once you believe in the finished so. work of cross and uh, you are not supposed to suffer. And I don't think how that mentality uh, yeah. that to instill people like you need to suffer and suffer and suffer uh, comes from. It doesn't come from God. I don't. Uh, I don't think so because mm. uh, we believe in the upliftment of the society, upliftment of the people, upliftment of the nation. So it should sh start within a person. So the prosperity is not uh, something like money. Uh, prosperity is not only based on yeah. uh, what you possess. Prosperity comes from inside. Yes. Prosperity comes from the soul and it flows to the mm. body. And uh, so uh, we preach the yeah. prosperity in totality. Yeah. And there's no joy in suffering. Yes. You know, as he was talking, mm -hmm. I, I remembered something important. Mm -hmm. How did the name prophet come about? Because people associate prophets mm -hmm. and prophetesses with mm -hmm. the people we knew in the Bible. Mm -hmm. So why the name prophet come? Um, uh, it's a calling. Uh, I always say it's like I didn't start prophesying like uh, out of a blue moon or something like that. Because I, I, was, uh, I received Jesus as my personal savior at the age of six. And from the age of seven on the day, I received the Holy Spirit. Uh, I started prophesying and uh, I know it's a calling on my uh, on my mission it's a calling on me yes. from heaven from God and uh, and God put it in me mm. and uh, uh, because of that you know people call us prophets yeah. <laughs> yeah. you know yeah. and uh, uh, we don't instill like to call prophet mm. or 
you know, it is a calling and people recognize you. Yes. You know, if you go to a hospital, you see a doctor, you call them doctor, doctor because yeah. it's a, it's a calling on. It's, it's a, a calling, calling on yeah. them. And, uh, yeah. and it is not about the title, but it's more about the calling. And I, I, I feel it's like more about a responsibility mm -hmm. uh, towards the body of Christ mm -hmm. because uh, I operate in that office. Yes. Yeah. Many people are giving up on marriages. Mm -hmm. You've heard this statement, marriage is a scam. Mm -hmm. Marriage does not work. Mm -hmm. What would you like to tell them? Yeah, for, for me, I think, mm -hmm. I, 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 think uh, I would like to encourage especially our generation because right now we are in a season where people you know um, all kinds of uh, you know messages are being passed through the the, the, the medium of social media mm -hmm. and I, i've seen that that statement that marriage is a scam yeah. in terms of uh, you know people don't believe in the values of marriage but i want to say that marriage still works because marriage is an institution that was orchestrated by god and uh, god is still the same he's the same today yesterday and forever mm -hmm. the times and the seasons may have changed mm -hmm. but god is still the same and the marriage institution uh, i believe even in our generation and we pray that God will use us to show our generation that marriage truly works. So for us we believe that is just the notion of uh, some few people that have tried to push that kind of a message. Yes. But marriage works and marriage is sweet and marriage is beautiful yes. and marriage is, uh, is possible and it is lasting. If it lasted in the days past, even now it will still last by yes. the grace of God. Yeah. So as my hubby said, we rely on the grace of God and even to the newlyweds, those that intend to get married married I feel the best way is uh, to make Christ the center mm. of your relationship yes. and the center of yes. your marriage. Prophet Kamil, what would you like to tell those who are giving up on marriages? You know um, uh, everybody has their own needs like psychological, um, mental, yes. physical, yeah. every needs uh, uh, are there for mm. a human being mm -hmm. and uh, we need to understand the fact that God created marriage for the sake of man, yes. uh, for the sake of two people you know, because they rely on each other and mm. build each other. Mm. And uh, when we see in that way, you know, there may be challenges happening. It is not a yes. journey of the bed of roses. Mm. Uh, but, uh, you know, there are, uh, you know, uh, you know, humble roads, like, yes. you know, there are some turbulence happens. But it is all about, you know, you rely on God, pray together. And I always say it's like a family uh, which prays together, stays, stays together. together. And, yeah. uh, you know, pray together and address your issues. And, mm. you know, I always see, uh, I always make it a point, like focus on the happiness yeah. and focus on positive uh, of life. Because uh, the problem with today's generation is that they try to skew out the happiness out of the other person. Yeah. Uh, it is, marriage is not about skewing out the happiness out of other person. It is something like you become happy by yourself yes. and two happy souls Ish. come together, it will bring happiness. Yes. So it is like the people are too much into, like they bring marketplace into into yeah. into, into, into family. Yes. Which yes. means like they they are like marketplace is something like it's a transaction. Mm. It says like I give less, I get more. Mm. So they are more focused on what I am getting. I so once we change that uh, concept mm. of what mm. I am getting mm. from what I am giving, mm. you know, once two people come together and they give each other happiness, yes. give each other support, yeah. give each other compliments, you know, it will work. And the uh, Bible says, guard your heart and, you know, don't go and fantasize about all the compliments that you get, all the, all the smiles that you get. And don't go behind it, you know, guard your heart and know what you want and you know and uh, rely on god people think people in ministry should not have fun they yeah. shouldn't kiss they yeah. shouldn't even do this makeup uh -huh. when yeah. you see your lady mm -hmm. you know this makeup and her being a minister yeah. well what do you what do you i, I like the statement she says always we slay and we pray Hi. <laughs> Is a, is a now generation pastor. Yes. And you know, just because somebody is a woman in ministry doesn't yeah. mean you don't want to look good. Yes. It doesn't yeah. mean, you know, humanity does not dismiss, divinity does not dismiss humanity. Mm. Just because, you know, I'm a pastor doesn't mean I don't want to look yes. good. I don't want, you know, fashion, you know, because... You know, I, I don't understand the fact that, like, you know, people are saying that you don't dress up or, you know, mm. uh, what I believe in, like, is like, you know, whatever comes against you, you know, you get up, dress up, and, and show, show up. up. <laughs> oh, so here we are slain and, and we, we are praying. Yeah, we are yes, yes, yes. Do you ever get that she's too much for the ministry? 
Uh, you know, for me, I've never tried to, 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 you know, to, to fake perfection because I'm not perfect. And as I always say, our calling, and my hubby, I believe he said it earlier, is by the election of grace. Mm -hmm. And one thing, Lean, I've discovered is that God does not call the qualified. He qualifies the called. Good. God does not call the equipped, but he equips those that he has mm -hmm. called. He does not call the prepared, but he prepares those that he has called. Yes. So there are people definitely <coughs> that uh, will feel that uh, this, she doesn't feel, she doesn't fit the criteria for what a minister should be but God uses whoever he wants and Good. God is not looking for avail for ability but for availability yes. and I always say when the capable are not available yes. God makes the available to become capable yeah. yes. so for me to be in ministry or even for my hubby it is by the election of grace yeah. and uh, we are just trying to, to be us and to reach our generations yes. by being real mm. so we are not trying to be anyone else or anything yeah. else we are just trying to follow the model of Christ yes. when you have the approval of God you you cannot be moved by the approval of men. So we never allow people's opinion to pin us down because mm. those who believe in us, who yes. know us and our ministry, they are in millions and they are more yes. than the few. Yes. That, uh, you know, yes. preach, misunderstand preach, us. Preach, Reverend. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Don't be fire. shy now. Yeah. 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 You're on fire. Yeah, right. Can we it's talk about your net worth? <laughs> because <laughs> I think it's also, a, you know what I love about today's conversation? Uh -huh. That you have been you have been okay answering all our questions. Mm -hmm. You know, talking about your net worth, I mm -hmm. was looking at your net worth, you are estimated to be worth one million dollars. I mean, it's more. But then there are people mm. saying, <laughs> you don't even have a single cent. Mm. How, how, what's, what's your net worth? Are you, we looking at the prints here? Uh, you know, uh, the net worth is, uh, we don't calculate our net worth. Uh, based on the possessions we have or the material yes. things we have. These all are blessings from God mm -hmm. and uh, uh, we, can, uh, we can truly say that God has blessed us. Yeah. Uh, but uh, our net worth is not based on uh, the material possessions that yeah. we have. Yeah. Our net worth is based on uh, 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 the souls that we gain and Good. how impactful yes. we are in the kingdom of God. Yeah. Our assignment and our focus yeah, it's the kingdom of God and yes. its impact. So yeah. uh, our network th is the uh, impact. Is the, is the, is the impact. Yes. I, I agree with my hubby. Yeah. We have never like uh, tried to evaluate our net worth based on uh, any anything, any material thing yes. that we possess. You know, for us, our passion, our heart, and our net worth is based on the number of lives that we can be able to touch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Yeah. And Bible says, "Seek ye first the kingdom of God." Yeah. And everything shall be everything. added. Yeah. 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 You know, yeah. We have to ask because when you go on, on Google, yeah. you know, we can see there is one million, but it's good. Yeah. So even, but see, just answer. Yeah. Is it somewhere along also the one million dollars? Actually, yeah. it is based on the soul. Ah! So follow the souls. Follow the My souls. people, I'm sorry. I have tried. I have really tried. They are not going to give me an answer for this one. I have tried. I have tried. I love that. Yeah. 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 I want you to look at her and tell her what do you love about her and what do you wish for her? As I always say, I love everything about you, my baby Tasha. Eish. And uh, oh, you are a strong woman with compassionate heart. And uh, you are a beautiful woman with a heart to help people. And uh, you are busy mm -hmm. uh, with uh, shattering the ceilings of limitations and flying high. Fly higher and higher, my baby. I am with you always and I love you from the deep bottom of my heart with oh. passion and vigor. Aish. Aish. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby Tasha. <laughs> Allow me. <laughs> baby Tasha, what <laughs> would you like to tell your <laughs> hubby? Yeah. I, I want to tell him that, you know, I'm so honored to be your wife, to be your destiny partner, to be your life partner, to be your mother, to be the mother of your children. Hey. Yeah, and uh, you, are, you are everything I pray for. You know, when I look at you, I say, surely God answers prayer. Thank you for being my pillar of strength, a father in the empowerment Christian church. Yes. Thank you for being a strong support system, you know, in my life, in the ministry. And I want you to know I will honor you. I will love you and I will treasure you and I want us to grow old together as we slay. Oh yes. Yay. As you slay, as we slay. <laughs> and you pray. Yeah. You slay and, and you, you pray. pray. Yes. Guys, this has been such an amazing conversation. Mm -hmm.
would be so wrong for me to end it without you giving a parting shot to our audience. Mm. What would you like to tell our audience and also where can people find you? Yeah, to those that have been watching us from across the nations of the world, it has been an honor being here together with my hubby. Empowerment Christian Church Nairobi is located at Biashara Plaza building at the junction of Moy Avenue and Biashara Street. We are right at the rooftop. We meet every Friday, 5 p.m., Sunday, 10 a.m., Monday at 5 p.m. We are also coming to a city near you, and you can also join the fearless generation movement that we have uh, founded together with my hubby, we are winning 10 million souls. Our generation is fearless. We fear nothing. And we are populating heaven and depopulating hell. You can also follow on our social media platforms. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Rev Lucy Natasha. On Facebook, it's Rev Lucy Natasha page. And Prophet Kamel yes. on Instagram is Rev Lucy <coughs> Natasha. And also Prophet Kamel. Babe, do you have any parting shots? Eh? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You know, uh, it was an honor uh, to be in this interview. Thank you. And uh, thank you for your questions. And, uh, and God bless you all. And we love you. And uh, we want to tell you, and in this world, which, uh, which is trying to instill fear into you, be fearless, mm -hmm. be courageous and bold. And carry the love, carry the joy. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and develop uh, such a good personality in which we love love each other and we build each other and let uh, let uh, let the love lead and uh, god bless you and uh, we love you wow thank Amen. you mm. thank you guys for being so real and transparent with us thank you even for just taking your time on the show thank you even for flowing with this conversation thank you for entertaining our two monkeys and leo's in our watch here show mpaka i don't know can you, can you see them leo uh, behind they are uh, uh, at a wall oh they are being so hungry yeah. they came to watch the show and ha so thank you for <laughs> even just taking your time and being here and I want to wish you guys all the best Thank in you. whatever you. that you do may Thank God you. go before you Amen. may you be courageous as you said may you be bold may you go and touch souls Amen. may doors open for you Amen. everywhere that you go let Amen. the doors open let Amen. the doors open for you. Your truth is your truth. Yes. That's all I say. Yeah, mm. my Thank people. You. I hope you. There's no other people I would have loved to feature before uh, February Ishe rather than these two. Hope your questions have been answered. You loved this conversation. All the details on how you can get hold of them, they are right here on the screen. Remember to also subscribe to Reverend Natasha's YouTube channel, which we will pin on the comment section, and the name is also right here on the screen. If you want to share your story with me, of course, my email is also on the screen. Send a summary of your story, and who knows, we could be sitting Ah, brother. <laughs> <laughs> and who knows, we could be sitting here with you next on our next episode of LNS. Would be so wrong for me to end this episode with, without saying thank you to my team. Legendary camera director Edwin Ochieng, Asante Sana for everything that you do to make sure this show is impactful and of course our editors are David Muredi and Chebet Kirui for compiling these episodes and making sure they reach to you right on time. Elegance Fashion Kenya, thank you so much for always coming through for your girl and here Westwood Hotel. Kujeni mfanya arusi yuku, mfanya baby showers kujeni kuna swimming pool mseme lina liwambia mkuje till next time, my name is Lynn Gugi thank you so much for watching Ooh, 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 ooh.